There we go. Welcome to Facebook Live, Life Unrehearsed. <laughs> we have Christelle and Lorraine from Chartwell. Bill, you want to come up and say a quick hello? Hello. Bill Kovalchuk on the second half. And we've got Corey. Hi. We'll be on air in just a bit. Hope you enjoy the show. Send your tips and your photos to your story. All right. Almost show time. And now to the Gourmet Blue Weather Center. Mainly cloudy overnight, below minus 6. Tomorrow, mix of sun and cloud, high minus 3. It's low <coughs> overnight, minus 6, but the temperature rises to plus 3 before Tuesday morning. On All set. Day, Ready to roll. Ready to go. Nine degrees. Cloudy and showers and a high of 6. Get those butterflies out we are before the championship game. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Next update at 4.30. Breaking news <laughs> as it happens. News Talk Radio. We'll probably do a CJ commercial. 800. I pulled up the DJ. We don't have calls, so it's not a big issue. But the, but the entire screen. Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> don't forget your on button. And good afternoon. Welcome to Life Unrehearsed. This is a show about the ins and outs of family life. Might be about yourselves. Maybe your elderly parents or even the kids. We want you to know that you're not alone in all of this. So we tackle these topics and we try to navigate you through it all. My name is Matt Del Vecchio, specialized in free retirement home search and senior transition support. I'm here with my co-host, Corey Sirota, clinical social worker and psychotherapist specializing in grief and loss. How are you doing, Corey? All good. Despite the weather, all good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to winter. You know, Corey, we have a great show lined up coming up very shortly. You know, when you hear the term retirement residents or senior residents, what do you typically think of? Um, well, in my case, usually you think of, you know, um, older people, wheelchairs. Well, you know, it couldn't be further from the truth. And, and the industry is really thriving. It's very competitive. And as a result, you won't believe some of the trends that are going on in the senior living industry. And that's why we're really happy uh, to have a couple of um, representatives from Chartwell, uh, retirement, uh, one of, uh, it is Canada's largest uh, operator of, uh, of retirement residences. Very excited to have them and a uh, very interesting topic, uh, Corey. I can't wait to hear what they can share with us because yeah. I definitely had those stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Corey, I heard you after our show last Sunday, uh, you were immediately on the parenting show. Way to go. Um, it was quite nice. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. It was important to be on the show because uh, as a grief counselor and dealing with crisis, unfortunately what had happened in Texas that very week, it was really important for me that we have the opportunity to talk to parents about how to talk to your children about crisis. So I was grateful that they recognized that they needed something like that, the, the uh, real parents, uh, Orla and Andrea, and I was... Uh, very happy it was a great there. interview, great interview. You know, while we're talking about that, uh, you know, you're running this camp, Erin. You want to briefly uh, talk about this amazing camp? Yes, uh, this is my pride and joy. Uh, I, uh, it's a free weekend long bereavement camp for children ages 6 to 17. We are just about to launch the uh, August 2018. So you'll hear lots more about that, but this is one of the ways to help kids navigate through the grief process. Oh, amazing. Talk about kids. Well, I, as you know, Corey, my kid these days is uh, my puppy, Zola, the Great Dane, <laughs> puppy at 90 pounds. And this morning, it was so funny, her first snowfall experience. So as we opened up, yes. up the door, out she ran, and it looked like a gigantic rabbit hopping around <laughs> outside in the backyard. So, so funny. Welcome to winter. Out? Oh, yeah. She had no idea <laughs> started eating the snow. So, yeah, Zola's first uh, winter. Um, all right, you know, let's let's get to, right into this. You know, um, there are some amazing trends in the senior living industry. And Corey, as you know, in my day to day life, uh, my company Lianas is, is a free service where we work with families and loved ones, where we uh, visit and and tour around all types of different retirement residences. And I tell you, sometimes I walk out of these tours and I say, man, I'd like to live in some of these places. It's really not your stereotypical stereotypical residence anymore. And uh, uh, you know, that's why we're really, really pleased to have with us in studio. Um, we have Christelle Louboutin, 
Director of Marketing for Chartwell. And as I mentioned, Chartwell is uh, Canada's largest owner and operator of retirement residences. And we also have Lorraine Louvier, who's the general manager of one of Chartwell's newest properties. And may I say one of the newest properties in Canada uh, of the Prescott in, in Vaudreuil. So Christelle and Lorraine, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you, Matt. Um, you know, uh, Lorraine, uh, I, I've been in the Prescott. It's spectacular, um, it and it is one of the newest ones. It's really uh, something else. We're going to talk about some of the amenities uh, available in general. But, Christelle, first for you, I'd like to back it up a little bit because there is this stigma. And uh, could you just give a, a brief explanation of the types of living accommodations that are available in retirement residences today? So at Chartwell specifically, we offer a range of senior living and accommodation that will go from independent living, super good living, assisted living, and long-term care across Canada and in Quebec also. So really depends on the needs of our residents. We are adapting and evolving all the services in Quebec. Uh, what is the typical question that you get asked when someone comes in and wants to know more about this service. Can you talk what, about what would be that? the first question yeah, that you would yeah. get uh, Lauren, when people come in your home? Typically mm -hmm. they would say uh, something to the effect of well there are a lot of old people here so how do I fit in? Mm -hmm. And we would bring that we would make sure that they would see some of our activities. Mm -hmm. We would invite them for a lunch to see that uh, we serve gourmet dishes very often. Yeah. Uh, we would make sure that they, their illusion of what a retirement home is is totally broken and has to be restructured. Oh yeah, the misconception of you know the 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 home that you would have your parents go twenty years ago or even uh, uh, we've been in the business for around ten years and the way we were building home ten years ago is so different than today and the kind of services and amenity that we can find are different and in 10 years we're probably going to build new home with different services because people uh, are changing and their needs uh, the generation in cha is really changing the baby boomer are requesting things like golf simulator that nobody would have would have asked us that 10 years ago it, it is it is quite a, uh, amazing how it is transferring and and um, you know, quite frankly, boomers and the people moving into retirement residences are asking for more. Um, that's uh, Christelle Louboutin and uh, Lorraine Louvier from Chartwell. And I'm here with Corey Sorota. I'm at Delvecchio. And we're talking trends in senior living industry. Now, you talk about the golf simulator as an example of, <laughs> yeah. of golf amenities, uh, of amenities in residences. I would have never thought that. And uh, so what other amenities are being demanded or are you seeing more and more of in the industry? I would say that everything about food so 10 years ago it was all about having pretty much a cafeteria in one of our home we're talking today in a dining room we're talking about restaurant style so in one of the new home that we open also this year we have three kind of restaurant into that home same way you have when you're going you know in a resort in the south when you have that italian kitchen or um the more um i don't know steakhouse kind of thing so you you have to offer a different type of of menu we're also building bistro so now we're talking about having half an hour um, happy hour into our home um, I just don't want to go to the dining room for breakfast I just want to grab a coffee in the bistro or having a croissant in the morning we're also building a new home in Cap Rouge in Quebec City with our first what we call the demonst demonstration kitchen so basically it's a room that people could use and invite their family and friends like a, a lab kitchen that we would see, see in uh, TV show mm, kitchen so people inviting they don't have to do uh, the, the the housekeeping of the room before and after basically it's all about having fun and cooking together right. it reminds me of a cruise ship <laughs> you know, exactly. when, that's right. when you have and you have the different restaurants you can go to the dining room yeah. you can go in the yeah. room so so that's that sounds like very much more uh, modern for lack of a better word yeah so the reality though of seniors growing older, medical issues. So are there nurses on staff at the residents? They are always, uh, how do we call them, not nurses, yes. We have auxiliary nurses yeah. and uh, we call them uh, les préposés à la résidence or 
PSWs, I believe mm -hmm. they're yeah. called mm -hmm. in Ontario. And what they do is they're there 24 hours a day. There's always a medical or a nursing uh, mm -hmm. surveillance to make sure that people are safe and secure, to make sure that they don't have any um, issues or falls. Or There's always somebody there for them. So they really have the peace of mind. And I even think yes. doctors occasionally come on site. Uh, is that yeah. quite common? That's correct. Yeah. It, it really is, you know, for those that are concerned and they want to maybe downsize a little bit but want that security, uh, it is uh, comforting to know that uh, they've got some help there. I would say that it's peace of mind. Uh, you are listening to Life Unrehearsed on Corserota along with my co-host Matt Delvecchio and we're talking senior living trends with Christelle Lubitin, Director of Marketing for Chartwell and Lorraine Lubier, General Manager of Chartwell Le Prescott in Vaudreuil. Uh, we have a uh, I have to put out the elephant in the room, which is the question that I have to believe you are asked constantly. The question would be about how much some like a place like this does cost. So we'll look at that right after we head out to the CJAB traffic center for an update. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Well, survived round one. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You did. Oh, we did. We yeah. went right into it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Bill, you didn't get your teaser. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, can I do it when I come back in? Or should sure. You? Sure. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Get right into it. So, c the cost question will be next. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, of the other topics, because what, what's going to happen, we're going to be on around 420, so we have about eight minutes, eight and a half minutes. Cost is the one we got to yeah. uh, talk about. Um, of the other topics, is there something there that we want to talk senior uh, uh, dancing with the seniors, right? We want to leave room for that. That leaves us maybe one or two topics. Is there something you want us to, to uh, go after? I would like after? to go with the question that, uh, that's more for Lauren. What a week could look like in terms of time mm -hmm. yes. What's so a typical kind of, week look yeah, like? Yeah, the calendar that then we can okay. do. So, that so that. Corey, you'll go to the cost? Yeah. Okay. I'll go to um, what's a typical week look like? And then the other thing is how do you know we've got a good fit? Uh, how do you know what? How do you know it's a good fit? How do you Maybe know we can close it when we talk about the resource center and go visit some homes to make sure that there's a fit of people. That's what you're you're saying about uh, you know have you um, you're saying go visit, ask questions, yeah. and things to respond. Do you want to cover that in your closing statement? I think we can. I think yeah. we can just wrap everything and let's direct them to the <coughs> website chartwell.com. Okay. So, yeah, because you're going to say, hey, we encourage you to do tours, and, yeah. and uh, yeah. that's very good. So, Corey, cost, I'll take what's a typical week look like. Then we have room for one more question before the Dancing with the Star, uh, Dancing with the Seniors, yeah. right? And then we'll... Uh, We'll close it out and have your opportunity to. Can you say things in twice so I can count if he shuts it off? He's waiting for your cue. So once you start talking, he turns down the music. So, you know, listening to the words um, uh, where you think you should jump in. Just give me 15 seconds. So this is for the musical cue. Um, yeah, it I plays. Did it once and it didn't, and it didn't <laughs> shut it off. And I'm like, ah. Yeah, as soon as you start talking, he'll he'll wind it down slowly. This is our uh, our sponsor of the show is Alavita. I don't know if you heard of Alavita, but it's a division of uh, Kane and Federley Funeral Homes, but they really keep it as separated. It's celebration of life in pre-death okay. and they even have celebrations of life after death not in a funeral home so as an example that one that they just did was a figure skater she was a famous figure skater and they did a celebration of life on a hockey rink and everyone was in skates you know and it's really uh, touching you know and so they're trying to change the uh, the normal process in the image yeah Here we go. 
Celebrate a life well lived before or after death. Welcome back to Life Unrehearsed. I'm Cor Sirota along with Matt Delvecchio and we're talking senior living trends with Christelle Louboutin, Director of Marketing for Chartwell, one of the largest operators of senior residences and retirement homes in Canada. We also have Lorraine Loubier, the General Manager of Chartwell Le Prescott in Vaudreuil. We, right before the traffic, we asked a very heated question, mm -hmm. but I'm going to ask you to hang on because I also wanted to mention that coming up in at, right after our news, we have um, a fascinating person coming into the studio. Uh, we are talking about the some very, very hot topics around, fi we all know we should get our financial house in order, standard stuff, advisors will tell us, recommends, RSPs, TS. Uh, TFSAs, RESPs, I say LMNOPs, we have all <laughs> kinds of stuff we need to do. But are we ready when it comes down to dealing with unexpected financial matters such as second marriages, stepchildren, unexpected debt, power of attorney, inheritances, no, no inheritances, it can get really down and dirty. And we have someone in studio today, Bill Kovacek. He's the founder and president of Claret Asset Management, and he's going to be talking to us about the good, the bad, and the ugly of financial management. Can't now, wait for that right after the news. Right after the news. So, back to the elephant in the room. <laughs> I asked you before we heard, we went out to traffic about costs. So, let, let's be clear. It's the first question that everyone asks when they call, when they just uh, come and, and visit. Uh, it's a hard question to answer because, of course, there's so many services that will be included in that price. So usually the way it works, you have your basic rent, and after that, any of the other option will will makes you have an, uh, the, the complete package. Of course, we're having uh, apartment from studio from one, two, three bedroom. Of course, depend on, depend on the neighborhood when we're looking for, obviously, the price downtown in Outremont here in Montreal versus in Chalimigal will follow the, the value of, of the land. And the, 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 the care will evolve upon the needs of a resident. So today a price for my mom would be something that would be different maybe in two years if needs are evolving. So it's really about asking the question depends of what your parents or what yourself really need where you want to live exactly but ask the question there's you cannot compare apple to apple <laughs> Fair enough. i think that's uh, you know it's it's so true and also reassuring reassuring both for the person moving into the retirement residence but also for their children as well because you want to avoid moving and moving and moving so you can go in completely independent live a really uh, you know thriving life and nice to know that if ever you need help like med management or help with uh, meals or, or uh, getting in and out of bed, you know, all the way up to those yeah. levels. So it's very uh, comfy. Obviously, there's a cost to that, but at least you don't have to move. Uh, if, if, yeah, uh, correct. If, so that's wonderful. Now, when I go on some of these tours, they leave these nice, beautiful uh, brochures and pochettes, and almost always there's these calendars in there. And I thought I had a busy calendar, Corey. <laughs> you would not believe what's going on. Now, Lorraine, as general manager of the Prescott in Vaudreuil, uh, you've given out these calendars. What would a typical week look like? A typical week can starts with aqua fitness. That has to be our most popular routine. Uh. And we do it four times a week. That's how popular it is. We also have activities like social dance classes. We're going into iPad classes starting in January. Uh, We're going to be working with the Thomas More Group. We're going to have an educational environment. We have something called Fit Minds that helps keep your memory sharp and clean. We have physical activities. We have concerts. At the end of the week, I think I need the rest more than the residents. <laughs> okay. And so there's even outings off-site? Off uh... Outings off-site. We're going to be going to the casino uh, showrooms to see some of the uh, acts over there, like Sinatra. We're going to be going to La Maison Chrysler which is uh, a cultural house in Vaudreuil for concerts. Uh, we, we go everywhere, anywhere, and we have a lot of fun doing it. And, and, and I would say, maybe I can add to that, uh, most of the activity that we're doing, it's because the residents are asking for it. 
we're not based we're not developing a calendar that won't fit the request of a resident and and it's funny how the calendar could be different from a city to another city mm -hmm. <laughs> fair enough who who creates this calendar so you say that you take interest and requests from the residents but is there someone on on staff that um we all participate together when we do when we decide to set up an activity uh the sales team is there the activities team is there the dining room manager is there uh even the even the tech admin is there because she helps us with all the costing and everything else uh we do it as a team we have uh, weekly meetings with the residents to understand what it is they like doing and what they'd like to see more of and that's, we start from there and build. That was Lorraine Lugui, General Manager of uh, Chartwell de Prescott, and we're also here with uh, Christelle de Bouquin, Director of Marketing of Chartwell, Canada's largest operator of retirement residences. Really happy we could have you uh, both here. A lot of residences uh, are involved in different uh, charity events, and uh, Lorraine, you pulled off, uh, I would say, a real coup. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it was last Friday with an event called Dancing with seniors, I guess, or dancing with the seniors, and can you uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, more about this uh, fantastic event? This event is uh, for our residents to be able to give back to the community. So, how do we do that? We are affiliated. Chartwell is affiliated with our national charitable partner, which is Wish of a Lifetime, and Wish of a Lifetime grants wishes to seniors in the community or in residences. Uh, who have deserved or who are looking for something special to make their lives better. Uh, our residents uh, did some training with the Arthur Murray School of Dance. Uh, we had judges sitting in, in, the, in the wings waiting to comment on their beautiful, their beautiful exercise of six different dances. Our winner from last year was Martha. Martha is 96 and she wow. is legally blind. Wow. Unbelievable. And she made the finals again this year at 97. <laughs> Incredible. So, so you had a, a couple hundred people show up to this event, didn't you? We had 210 people show up. We were really thrilled and excited. We raised over $5,300 for the foundation. Incredible. And uh, this is our people giving back to the community. What a beautiful initiative. What a really, really very special initiative. So I'm, I'm listening. It sounds like these places are gorgeous. They meet the needs. They've got the food. They've got the buffets or the variety of foods. So how would I know if I were looking at a residence, how would I know it was a good fit? <laughs> um, for, first of all, look on the internet. But mostly you have to visit many, many homes. At least three, I would say. You're looking for a fit when you when when you put uh, when everybody wants to buy a home. We're, we're not only visiting one home. We, we we need to step in. We need to ask questions. Don't be shy. Um, visit more than one home. Go on on their website. We do have a website chartwell.com, which we just launched um, a resource center where you can find tool calculator questionnaire. Am I ready yet? How to identify the different level of care of each resident. It's 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 a research research that you need to do, for sure. And and uh, you know that's my life day to day. Yeah. And, and it's so you see it after the tour that you know most people are, are nervous and and, and most uh, want to stay at home until you start doing the tours and and you see people like yourselves and you start to realize you know this could be. Um, not just uh, is the last chapter. In fact, it's uh, very much a next chapter. Mm -hmm. And in many cases, it's you're upgrading um, your your lifestyle. And, and so that's what I, I really like uh, about this. Really quickly, um, there's resistance out there. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, and adult children are, are usually the ones who bear the brunt of this on their shoulders. They're worried about mom or dad. Any quick recommendations that we could talk to the adult children about and 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 try to. Talk to mom and dad. What should they be doing? I think that the adult children have to be listening to what their parents are looking for. Don't choose a residence based on what you would like, but rather what your parent would feel comfortable in. Uh, let them see as much as possible so that they can make the proper choice for themselves. And orientation is so much faster and it's really good for them to make their own decisions. Excellent, excellent advice. 
Well, uh, Castel and Anne Lockin, thank you so much for being with us. How could we find out a little bit more about Chartwell? Where can we go? So Chartwell.com, you'll find everything that you're looking for, I would say. <laughs> Chartwell.com, absolutely. Okay, thank you so much. Coming up, you are not going to want to miss this. It's going to be our discussion with Bill Kovacher. He's the founder and president of Claret Asset Management. And he's going to be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly of your family's financial future. What do you mean? It's all it's all good, isn't it? No? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> until it's not. It's good until it's not. Uh, so looking forward to that. But first, let's head out to the CJAB newsroom. All right, I had to throw in a little spacer there because we were a little bit early. Oh, were we? Yes, okay. 429. But it's good, they were ready. Hey, merci beaucoup. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very, very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Like All right, do you want to uh, come say a quick goodbye to uh, Facebook World? By Facebook World? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Bill, you can grab your spot right there. You're welcome. You got everything. Thanks, Matt. Merci, we're gonna have some news from us good. for a better part of the job. Thank you. We'll see Thank you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm gonna call open this door for you. Yeah, certainly. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh. Here, that's for you. The numbers coming up are for the time to start is going to be 34. Uh, 35, and we go out at 56, and then we have in, in between. So you have perfect. <laughs> they give you a little, little Seriously. massage here. Seriously. A little massage. It comes complimentary on Facebook. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to Facebook. Uh, now over to Lauren Glazer at the CJD 100 Conference Center. Good show. Lords of the Island had an early accident on Tampa and West County. We still have another three, four minutes, at least. Okay, quick review here. Um, I'll open up. We'll banter about um, some of the financial nightmares, right, Corey? Yes, we will. And then you'll introduce Bill. And you've got it as founder and president, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Cool founder. Oh, that's fine. We vetoed your... Uh, no, you go. no co-founder, Mick Daly. Actually. Really? Yeah, Mick Al. It's appropriate. Now to the gourmet okay. um, What are some of your favorite nightmares? Tonight, below minus six. The the nightmares you've to discuss. Oh, it's not favorite. No, just like the pity. I, I know some of the pity accounts. Uh, that's why I asked you on the phone. And I said pity accounts, but I meant was actually uh, you were able to find it after. When you have gotten, it wasn't pity accounts. It actually counts that they know of, but offshore accounts. That, um, yeah, but the um, next, next generation does know about it. Uh, the other thing is uh, accounts that are stale, where people move, they've forgotten about having accounts in so many different places. Because you know, they move, and they used to have three or four accounts and grab all of them. But uh, Bank of Canada has a website. You can find out about those on the website. And the yeah, information. Yeah, trying to mention that. No, I'll just bring that up as one of the little things along the way. Okay, good. <coughs> well, the answers are communications. Yeah, you know, it's worth it, and there's no harm in, in uh, repeating that. Yeah. Personal trainer, I help my clients reach their goals in life. Myself, at home, important part of staying healthy and getting up.
all night sleep with our support of Magic. Thanks, Rich. Thank you. Today, I'll be making stage 70 for you on our exclusive CD drop for Phoenix Fairmont Queen Queen Mattress. You see the cycle, right? As a portfolio manager, you see the regular monthly cycle, so what they spend. Well, since something changed, it's kind of, or in maybe the past three years, they've been helping somebody renovating a house. They said, well, you can't keep spending that much money. I said, well, don't worry, I'm sorry, I'm a construct kid, I'm a kid, I'm a bathroom for me. I'm not sure I'm going to use it, but it's good for them. And somebody expresses a change going forward. Or maybe it's a simple matter of, you know, really, if I used to work. Or maybe it's a matter of, no, I think you should give me 12% a year, in which case, you know, they, mm -hmm. they're not going to like you, but at least they have the money, right? And you tell them 12 years ahead of time that they know that they, need, they can change. If you tell them when there's nothing left, it's a little late. They might start crying, but eventually it all straightens out. And if you're being professional, you need to tell them, right? For sure. And otherwise, it's, otherwise, uh, yeah. it's a massive surprise. Mm -hmm. It's all good. We're trying to help people. Yeah. We're patient. I think you're doing, you're doing better than you're, but, but you're doing good. Israel bonds are sold all year in Canada exclusively through Canada Israel Securities Limited. Rates as high as 3.83% are available. Usually it's uh, through, yeah, we don't do advertising. It's, <laughs> so, so it's through their friends, it's through their accountant, it's through, we do a really bad job marketing because everybody kind of still has a career in that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I mean, people come through their accountants, they come through their friends, they come through word of mouth. Yeah, referral is big. So we don't have a huge advertising. We do have no advertising. It's a trust factor. You know, when you're huge. Huge. you need that referral. It's really, huge. yeah. Trust factor. I think we might be on soon. Here we go. <coughs> On Tuesday, the 800, brought to you by Alavira Glass PA. Well, welcome back to Life Unrehearsed. Papa was a Rolling Stone, Corey. You don't know where the money might be. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> You're listening to Life Unrehearsed. How appropriate. It's, uh, my name is Matt Del Vecchio, certified professional consultant on aging and the owner of Lianis uh, Retirement Home Search and Senior Transition Support. Here with my co-host, Corey Sirota, social worker and psychotherapist specializing in grief and loss. So Corey, we have a really interesting segment here and you know, usually in stories you hear of a friend of a friend, you know, um, just uh, maybe a nasty inheritance or a second marriage and demands and, and uh, but you know what? It happens a lot more than we think about. Uh, Without a doubt. Without question. I, I know alone, just in my social circle, people that second marriages, um, Hidden bank accounts, second homes or condos that they you know that pilfer. I, no, it's it's not pretty. <laughs> you want to give any names? No, <laughs> not going to get you in trouble. No, it 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 really is. Uh, at the end of the day, we have to be accountable to ourselves, and uh, your guard, rightly so, needs to be up. Yeah. So, and on that note. Uh, we are very pleased to have Bill Kovacek with us. He is the co-founder and president of Claret Asset Management. That's a company specializing in wealth management and financial advice. And Bill has literally seen it all. We'll be discussing the good, the bad, and the ugly of your family's uh, financial future and what you need to be doing to protect yourself from surprises. So I think in that being said, let's get right into it. Something like the challenges of second marriages. What are some of the demands from the other partner? What do you see? What, how can people deal with this very sensitive topic? Well, some of the additional complications that come with the second or third marriage uh, tends to be kids from the first, kids from the second marriage, um, and, and then how do you divide up assets? There's only a finite amount of assets that want to get divided a bunch of different ways. The best ideal solution, doesn't usually happen this way at the beginning, is communications. We can't be an ostrich and have our head in the sand. And so you need to be able to communicate who needs what. And it could be anything from, you know, kids need something now and, and you need to take care of your current spouse as well later. And so how do you, how do you have that conversation with, with the whole family? And you were saying some of the dynamic, it, it, it evolves over time, right? These aren't conversations that typically come, come up in the, in the first or second year of a second marriage, right? Is this is usually later on in the marriage? They'll, they'll typically come up after maybe about five to ten years. And as things move along, and suddenly the second spouse would want to have a little bit more security, a little bit more comfort, want to know where they're going. 
uh, and then that conversation eventually comes up. You know, uh, Bill, uh, and you, you have seen it all in, 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 in the normal days, you're managing people's money, doing a great job at it. Um, we talk about inheritances, and sometimes uh, what you're thinking uh, you'll get, uh, you might not get. But we had talked about earlier on early inheritances, and this is something that maybe is a way of resolving this. And, and when would there be a situation for an early inheritance that's proactively done by mom and dad? Uh, and, and or maybe it's just by mom or by dad. Mm -hmm. uh, and the answer usually revolves around issues such as, say, education or health or, um, or housing. So if you want to help your kids get an early start with a house, then there's an early inheritance that can be involved. Or if there's a health issue or an education of kids or grandkids, more and more the cost of education goes up. And sometimes it's the grandparents that are helping out these days. And so that that is a quick financial solution to the second, third, and how do you deal with early inheritances uh, so everyone feels that they're getting their fair share, appropriately traded, uh, treated, pardon me. <laughs> Freudian <laughs> slip, maybe. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, and, and how does it all continue going forward? Um, so early inheritances can be a solution. Okay, I'm thinking my kids are listening to this and they're like, yes, <laughs> no, no, no. The kids need to remember it's your money. <laughs> so... Okay, that being said, uh, just let me say that we are, you are listening to Bill Kovacek, who is the co-founder and president of Claret Asset Management, a company specializing in wealth management and financial services, and we are here on Life Unrehearsed with Matt Del Vecchio and I'm Corey Sirota. So next question uh, uh, in relation to all of this is, um, what are some of the nastier surprises that uh, families experience? Well, nasty, nasty surprises can, in, can include, say, siblings who charge fees for managing the parents' affairs, but the rest of the siblings don't know about it. Okay, stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> Does that actually happen? And so, well, if you have, say, four or three, four different kids, different provinces, you might see somebody dipping into mom or grandma's bank account uh, to help make ends meet. So you just need to be careful, right? And so, again, we come back to communications, making sure the other kids know what's happening. If they're all fine with it, that's great. If it's a surprise, it's a surprise. And if you're suspicious, um, uh, can you do anything? What should you do? Or just have that you know, sort of dinner table or a conference call oh. and saying there's something up here. Uh, we want to get uh, everything above board here. It, it can start simply with bank accounts. I mean, everybody has bank accounts. If the, if the payments look strange, then you know to expect something. You can go to tax returns to find out what's happening. If there's less and less money available for the parents to spend, maybe there's something, there's a leak somewhere. Um, so th there's different things you can do. It, it comes back to communications, having an active interest. But you also have to have the parents have the interest to participate as well and understand why they're participating. So there's one. Kids uh, may be charging a fee. What other uh, uh, surprises, shall we say, that, uh, that you see sometimes in your world? Well, then you're in the topic of seniors' abuse. And that just is basically stealing money, misusing credit cards, uh, having joint bank accounts that shouldn't be there. Uh, I guess the ultimate is changing wills, inheritances, trust structures. Um, but that's simply back to a matter of understanding its communications, what's available, what's out there, how are things structured. And the advantage of the communications, since people are so afraid to have those conversations, can be tax efficiency. And so if you can save a pile of money on taxes by having that conversation well ahead of time, you actually save a whole bunch of heartache and headache later and, and, and possibly fights as well. True, very, very true. Uh, I'm wondering, though, with that, of course, I believe uh, as a therapist, I believe communication is integral. How would someone start that con conversation? Um, usually, it has to start with if you're talking about just a plain old transition, it's simply say a board meeting. You could have a family board meeting, you get together, you have some basic rules of the game. You might bring in a consultant or, or, or someone to help run the meeting for you, uh, have an agenda ahead of time. Here's what we want to chat about, and here are the topics. And so, you know, it might be something as simple as, you know, the, the current spouse gets the RSP because it's a tax-free rollover, the kids get the primary residence because that's tax-free, and you divide up the difference with the portfolio. And if it's that clean, that's very nice, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, but you need to start the conversation um, uh, earlier, better. If you notice something strange, but then you need to be a little more inquisitive because that's when you find out things are disappearing or parents are maybe living uh, extremely well. Or th remember, in the age of entitlement, it's the parents' money. They can do what they want with it. And the remainder goes to the kids. But if there if there's some things that don't add up, you can see it through the tax return, through the spending habits, through the bank accounts. There's plenty of signs. You just have to take a little look. You're uh, listening to Life Unrehearsed. That's Bill Kovalchuk speaking. And Bill is the co-founder and president of Claret Asset Management. Um, 
Bill, obviously communication is key. Uh, some of the other things you were mentioning, uh, you, you even run into reverse mortgages or, or debt that uh, no one was aware of, or maybe only one uh, sibling was aware of. And uh, I think that's just grouped into the whole, um, where should I be looking? And I guess look at the bank statements if you have access to that. Um, and um, anything else you could suggest? The, because it's sensitive, right? Like, uh, and sometimes I'm not going to show you my bank statements. Sometimes it's only one of the spouses that's aware of the fact there's a line of credit or some debt that's mm -hmm. helping to pay for the family expenses as well. So it's, it's again, it's a group effort. It's don't be an ostrich. Get your head out of the sand. Take a look around and see what's going on. Be aware of, uh, of what's going on. Now, now Bill, um, you really do uh, a, a, a good thing for your clients and, and, and your company. And uh, we're going to uh, ask you about some of the must-dos that, uh, that we should be doing. And I think this will be good for, for everyone. Um, but first, we're going to head to the CJD Traffic Center for an update. And then we're going to hear all about the must-dos from Bill Co Kovalchuk. Okay, so we flew through a lot of that. Yeah. Very good. So, there's two things to come up for must yeah. Who should I contact if there's a problem? That, one of the questions as a professional I have is who do I contact if there's a problem? So you have a lot of single individuals okay. these days. There's no family, no kids, no spouses. Who do I contact if there's a problem? And the second thing, the hardest thing is calling people. You're right. We want to say. Those, those are two. So two good questions. So you're going to go over must do's, and then we can ask other questions about. So in the must do's, who to contact, right? You're uh, saying who to contact. In the are we going to talk problem? about uh, power of attorneys and wills? And, and that's that's the must do's. So the must do's are pretty quick. It's the power of attorney. It's wills. It's a mandate of incapacity. Yeah. And making sure those are all up to date, and everybody understands where they are and what they're supposed to do, what their role is, and even better, the intention. Because yeah. it's nice to know the intention. So, sorry, just to clarify, on sure. one of the must do's is who to contact. Right? No, so, no, 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 must, must do's is power of attorney, wills, mandates, and aptitude, and make sure it's communicated. And then the two other things. The two other things are who should I contact? Uh, we ask. Yeah. So, it's going to be a separate question because in yeah. our questioning, it's under must do's. So, we're going to change that around a bit. So, the must do's are strictly going to be power of attorney, wills, mandates. Right. And clean up the yeah. basement. And then we're going to take out who yeah. to contact as as a question, right? Well, that's going to be a, a question. Okay. And then the hardest thing. Yeah. Is, yeah. And then how do you want to wrap up? Uh, well, again, you know, I guess you'll re you reiterate that at the end of the day, best thing you can do, that's what we'll ask. What's the best thing you can do? Communications, family meeting, make sure everybody understands what's going on to the best of their ability. I might have a secondary question on the must do saying, ah, oh, it's going to cost me too much to get a power of attorney or will. Mm -hmm. And then so you're going to hit them with. And doing it after the fact is wildly more expensive. Doesn't Perfect. allow you to do the tax planning. Perfect. Doesn't allow everybody to So that'll understand. be a secondary question. And then, and, and Corey, you jump in with your next question after that. That's so you're going to ask. The, the must do. The must do is, is okay. uh, Matt. Yeah, so he's going to talk about powers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you're going to ask that, and then I'm going to ask what's mine, and then you can ask what's mine, or I can ask what's part of it. The first thing comes before the who should I contact them. Because I really like that question. Which one? Maybe the other person. What's the hardest thing? Yeah, go ahead. Ask the first. Yeah. We talked about how follow up, but I have to depend on what he says. And this is four minutes, right? Um, we have four minutes to do this. Thing? We have about, we're going to have about six minutes six? on this second Perfect. part. Okay. So That's if fantastic. you see, can you see that clock? Yeah. So at 56 is when we're going out, 56, six and a half. So well, based on our questions, we might have to extend some of the questions and then we're good to go. Want great gifts and date safe? <coughs> Head to Farmer Green now until Friday, November 24th and save big during our holiday super sale. From TVs and video game consoles to fragrances. Our friend Mark Shalhoub sometimes is on traffic. Uh, yeah, yeah, I offered him uh, football tickets once he had to do a traffic filling. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, glass? Uh, not glass. Yeah. Uh, maybe Lauren Glazer? Glazer, Glazer. Yeah, thank he's, you. he's the one doing it now. So we've got Steve Miller Band coming up. Thank you, Mark. Aloe Vita commercial. Customizing. Having fun? For sure. I just want to make, <laughs> sure, <laughs> just want to make sure you guys are good. Dude, I'm sure I'm delivering just to you guys. When it's hard. Talk when to you here. Don't look at you guys. Yeah, okay. so if you don't mind, I'm going to ignore you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be socially incorrect. Take it personal. I'll be socially incorrect and ignore you. <laughs> there we go. Hey. No. How was your weekend? Pretty good. Well, yeah. sometimes I feel like my kid's personal taxi driver. I'm spending a fortune on gas. Funny, it's the other way around for me. This morning, I filled up for $4 less than it usually costs. 
trip. Yeah, me too. I saved about three dollars yesterday and five dollars last week. Seriously? Where do you guys go? Well, at IGA. Every week at IGA, get a discount on gas at Shell for every seventy dollars you spend on groceries, and the savings can really add up. Details in store. The end of the line, you fall for your other half, regardless of his or her imperfections. Why not do the same with your home appliances? Electro Menage Youngo, the largest liquidation center authorized by Canadian manufacturers. You'll save on a wide range of appliances with slight imperfections, discontinued, and showroom models. All major brands are under warranty. They also have a wide selection of brand new, high end plumbing products. Visit electromanagelongay.com for selection, price, warranty, and delivery service. Or visit the Longay or Wildcore. What the cost of a power return? Life on your hearth on EJ the 800. Brought to you by Alavita Drop CA. Celebrate a life well lived before or after death. Little Steve Miller band, take the money and run, Bill. <laughs> this is Life Unrehearsed. Matt Del Vecchio here with Corey Sirota, and we're talking with Bill Kovalchuk, co founder and president of Claret Asset Management. And Bill's been uh, a real eye opener. And uh, just before traffic, we talked about some of the must do's that you would uh, advise for your clients. So, what would some of those must do's be? You, you, may, look, you want to make sure you have an updated power of attorney, you want to have your wills up to date. Having a mandate of incapacity is wonderful. And then more importantly, then communicate it to everybody. So everybody knows what their role is. Everybody knows what they have to do. If there's some wishes, that'd be wonderful. And so the more people know ahead of time, the better they can execute whatever it is you want to have done. And of course, you can clean up the basement too, but that's, that's, that's another issue. Um, and you know, you, you hear about uh, power of attorneys. Very often I hear, yeah, I know I should, but it's too expensive. I talk to a notary. And, and so the cost question comes into play and they just don't do it. And so you should see the expense afterwards when there's a fight going on, when there's tax inefficiency, when there's more money being paid, probably during a difficult time emotionally, maybe even financially. Uh, and so doing it up front is a whole lot easier. Not a lot of fun, not a lot of fun at all, but you kind of get it done. It faces your mortality, right? Yeah, so very, very good point. Um, so then I want to ask you, not easy conversations. So for you, what's the hardest thing you need to tell people? The hardest thing often is, is telling people that they're spending too much money at their current rate. So if somebody's been on a certain pattern for a period of time, you look at the math and say, look, another 12 years out of the money, you have to go have a conversation. As a professional, you need to let them know that you're spending too much money, and that's not an easy conversation to have. Um, what you'll find out when you have the conversation might be might surprise you, actually. So if you tell somebody, look, you know, if you keep spending the way you're spending, 12 years, the money's gone, they might come back and tell you, well, you know, my doctor says I'm going to be dead in less than five years. So you know what, 12 years seems pretty good, the kids get the rest and I'm okay. And so suddenly as a professional, you know, okay, now you have a different picture, I understand what I'm dealing with. Uh, you might also find out that say last few years they've been giving money to a child to put an extension on their house for a bedroom and a, and a bathroom for them to live in, not that they necessarily want to be there, but it's an upgrade. Uh, and then you realize that, okay, no, no, their spending habit is not gonna be the same in the future and they are fine. But you need to bring that up because you'd rather not be friends with them and ha let them have the money than 12 years later say, you have no more money left. Now, some people will hate you for it, and they eventually come around, and that's okay, too. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah you just got to live with it. Being that's professional. Right. Being professional is right. That's Bill Kovalchuk, uh, co-founder of Claret Asset Management, uh, giving us some advice uh, as to what we should be doing uh, to protect ourselves financially. Okay, I'm going to use the proverbial, okay, uh, you get hit by a bus, and uh, you've got all your files somewhere, and people, the families kind of left hanging, don't know where to go. So what, what should we be doing to talk to either our children, our spouse, uh, any recommendations? So the easy ones with the family, because then you have instructions, you might have that full power of attorney, wills and mandate of incapacity set up. The bigger challenge that we find now is with single people who possibly don't have kids, don't have brothers or sisters, they're really single people. And so then how do you bring up that topic of their mortality to them and find out who do I contact? If you're renting, all of a sudden there's bills to pay. You're in the hospital. I don't know you're in the hospital. There's rent to pay. There's all kinds of expenses to pay. Um, and then how does, who do I talk to? Give, tell, give me instructions. And again, it's a function of communications because with the family, it's usually pretty straightforward. So who do they talk to? And that is, that is exactly that. So they're going to say, look, I have a, I have a boyfriend, I have a girlfriend, I have somebody I'd like to donate to. There's a foundation. I'd like to put it towards the following causes. Um, and then you have a real conversation going forward. 
but it's a tough conversation from the other side as well because they have to recognize one day they're going to have to deal with this. And it could be a, a car accident, a slippery day. It could be a function of over time, diminished capacity. And diminished capacity is another big issue, uh, which is becoming a, a greater issue mm -hmm. uh, on a regular basis. And, and, and you identify this simply when somebody does something out of the ordinary. Yeah, keep, keep your eye out there. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're approaching holiday season coming up and, and families are together. Maybe you won't be with uh, mom or dad uh, so often and you start to see things. Geez, mom or dad was a little slower and, and uh, now's the time to have some of these red flags up uh, 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 and, and watch it. And, and from a professional's perspective, you, you're dealing with people you've known for 10, 15, 20 years. And so it's, it's tough to notice the change just as the family members have the same difficulty. Um, but if somebody says making a contribution to the tax-free savings account in January, and then they call you to do the same thing in June, and then they call you to do it again in September, you sort of go, hang on, you got red flags, right? Uh, and th that's one of the signs, or if they made them, uh, tried to make them repeatedly, that's one of the for sure red signs. Uh, could red you flags. actually identify some other red flags? Um, other red flags that you need to watch for deal more with um, spending habits. And so is there somebody else who's impinging on their capital? Uh, do they have a sudden new best friend who's come into their life uh, in the past four or five months who seems to be taking over everything for them? You do have the, uh, the very, very late stage marriage that comes up. Uh, and so those are all issues that um, the family just needs to be aware of and, and, and have a participatory role in. So you need to be able to listen to the client, not judge them. Um, and you need to be aware of what's, what's going on. Such incredible advice. Thank you so much, Bill. Here's a question for you. How do people get in touch with you? Because we need Please. to know. <laughs> we can help. Name's Bill Bill. Claret Asset Management. So that's C-L-A-R-E-T dot uh, C-A. Um, and, and call anytime. It should be Claret Management dot help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Bill. Really You're informative. Welcome. Very good anytime. stuff. Uh, now, next week, you're not going to want to miss uh, next week's show. Corey, we, uh, we've been working on this one for a while. It'll be really special. First of all, um, we will have Kenny Bodanis with us. Kenny is a family uh, specialist, if you will. We're going to be talking about uh, the subject of how do you talk to your children about grandparents that may be going through the aging process, and they're just not the same. Maybe there's some, some care levels. We just talked earlier on uh, uh, in the first half of the show. They're going into a retirement residence. So... How do we approach that as a family and open up the communication? Bill, it was communication again. That's what it's about. And we also have an incredible couple. For anyone dealing, uh, might be a spouse uh, that may have a debilitating disease, we have a wonderful husband and wife um, team coming up. The gentleman has Parkinson's, and they are living and uh, a full lifestyle, and they're persevering, have a great attitude. I think you're going to want to hear that. So please uh, listen to us next Sunday, you can catch us every Sunday on CJD. This is Life Unrehearsed. Hey, Corey, say goodbye, Corey. Goodbye, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. News shortly. That's it. That's okay. Good job. Perfect. Thank you. Right in, yeah. We were saying goodbye to Facebook. Bye, Facebook. Thank you. Bye, Facebook.